Good morning. This is Ella Keith Humes. I'm coming back to you live doing a little update on the ebook that's going out. Um, it's all about trying to start a halfway house and it's showing you how to literally start from the very beginning. But I want to just come out with a couple of tips that I want to give some people. I know a lot of you uh, are interested in opening up a halfway house. You have a passion for it. Maybe you just want to do it because it's something that's been in your heart for a very long time. Maybe one of your family members have been been through it. Maybe you've seen somebody that's doing it that you feel like you could do it a little bit better. Or maybe it's just something that you want to do. However, getting started making that first step is probably going to be the hardest decision you could ever make. But you have to get off the fence. You have to do it. Because right now there is a niche. It's an untapped market. A lot of people are not familiar with how to do it. A lot of people are not familiar with how to actually um, market it and get clients that's coming into your place on a continuous basis. I can show you how to do all of that. I'm going to give you a little bit about my background. First of all, I'm I'm a recovering addict and alcoholic. been on drugs for many, many, many years. started when I was about 12 years old. Right now I'm 61. And I stopped when I was about 42. So I was on drugs for many years. And I've been through a lot of different programs, probably about eight. And I finally decided that enough is enough. But the last halfway house I was in, it was a very big facility, and uh, the way they was doing things, I just felt like I could do it a little bit better. So there was uh, no case management done in terms of helping people literally go from dependency to independency, helping people. Because when I first started, I didn't even know. Uh, I never carried an ID. I didn't, I didn't even know how to get one. So... When I started my halfway house, I literally did an assessment with people. So you got to do an assessment form. And in the book, I'll show you how to do all of that. Plus, I'll give you some free consultations. But the first thing you, did, you need to do is do a need assessment. You got to find out what the person's needs are. Some people don't want anything. That's okay. But at least you'll know. Some people have uh, money that they don't even know about. So you try to help them do all of that. And uh, I started out doing a need assessment. I wrote out a couple of questions. Uh, very, very simple. What are you here for? What are your goals while you're here? What are your five-year plans? What are your educational needs? What are your social needs? Um, do you have a social security card? Do you have an ID? Um, things like that. How many family members uh, that support you? Or do you not have any support because you need a psychological profile of everybody that you're dealing with. You don't want to just have an absentee, uh, be an absentee landlord where you just have people that's renting your place and you don't even know anything about them. You want to do, you know, a need assessment. Are you on medication? What kind of medication are you taking? Where's your pharmacy? Uh, things like that. So I incorporated all of that and I did things a lot different. Therefore, I kept a lot of people. Because people want to know that you care. They want to know that you generally care about them. And when you can translate that, it translates into loyalty with your people. So they will stay no matter what. And so um, when I started out, that's number one. I did a need assessment. Number two, I went out and I hit all the Narcotics Anonymous meetings. I did some flyers. Um, I went to all the uh, hospitals the jails. I went everywhere. I talked to every social worker that I can talk to. I passed out my cards long before I even had a place. Are you understanding me? I passed out my business cards long before I even had a place. Okay. And when I opened up my first place, a four bedroom, three bath down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, charging four fifty a month. I went up to five fifty. But you know, you do the math, man. Had that place full within a month. And from there, I accumulated another property. And for those of you that don't know how to get properties, it's very simple. It's not real, real hard. In case you don't want, you, 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 you uh, don't have the money to purchase your own building or your own house, maybe you want to, you know, do a lease to own. 
you know, put down first, last, and security. You don't necessarily have to tell nobody what you're doing, okay? Um, you want to open it up and uh, rent it out, but you want to put some very decent furniture in there. You, you don't want to have no a house that's looking like a mom and pop grandma house. If it's not some place that you want to live in, I don't think you want to put anybody in there that, because, again, you want to be impressive. You want to do the wow factor when they walk in the door. They want to be impressed with that place. And you want to be hands-on, okay? Um, you want to at least try to get some furniture that looks good. Um, two bedrooms to a room. Some people like to put bunk beds. I don't do that. I did it in the beginning, but when you have a lot of people crowded in one place, you have tension. Then you have a lot of conflict. Then you have a lot of fights. Uh, try to provide dignity to your people. Give them some space. So do a two bed, two, two to a room. That's it. Do not try to crowd your place up. Believe you me. Um, they're not going to like it. Some people will just put up with it because they don't have a choice. But the first chance they get to come to a place like mine, they come and they're going to leave you. They're going to leave you right there. Okay, stuck, hole in the bag with all the rent. Okay, uh, you don't want to do that. You want to keep two to a room. You could charge. I'm in South Florida, so the rent is pretty competitive down here. It's anywhere from five to $600 per month. And so if you got a three-bedroom, you know, uh, you're looking at 1200 coming out of each room. Okay, so you do the math, it's right there for you. Okay, and uh, I do have an ebook. Um, my website is being built right now where you can go and purchase it. But if not, then all you have to do is leave me your email address, comment at the bottom that you know you saw the YouTube page, uh, you want to spread it out for me. You know, I'm going to help you as much as I can. You help me get the word out, I'll help you get your place up and going. Plus, if you desire, and you already own your own property, again, if you already own your own property, all you have to do is contact me. If you want me to get it up and going for you, just pay for my plane ticket and a place for me to stay. I'll come and do free consultation if you purchase the book. Purchase the book, purchase the ebook. It's called How to Open Up a Halfway House, How to Monetize your, your Property that You Already Have. If you want to make a lot of money in the business, you're going to put a lot of time in it. That's just it. But it is profitable once you get up and going. Um, people will be in and out of your place on a frequent basis. You know, you can always have, um, you can always be getting calls from people. I'll show you how to do that. And it's all about collecting data. The more people that you know, the more people come through your place. And it's, I hate to say it, in recovery, dealing with recovering addicts or dealing with unstable people, you're going to have a lot of people that's going to be coming in and out, back and forth, over and over and over. So you want to keep their information. You want to keep their phone number. You want to get in touch with their family members. Reach out to them. Say, hey, you know, this is XYZ calling to see how John Doe is doing. Uh... A lot of times I used to get, oh, my God, he done messed up. I'm so glad you called. Can you go and get him? You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's a lot of ways to do this. Um, but you have to be on top of it. Nobody gave me any information how to do this. Okay? So this comes from 10 years of a lot of hard sweat, a lot of bad mistakes I made. Um, so I pretty much honed everything down scale it down, and I filter through the, the BS, and I'm giving you good information, all right, how to avoid a lot of pitfalls and traps, and uh, so, hey, they said if you can't afford a consultant, buy the book, <laughs> so buy the book, again, this is Elder Keith Helms, thanks so much for watching, and stay tuned, there's a whole lot more coming. Um, I'm rolling out some new products in terms of uh, giving you some uh, uh, templates on your cards, your um, brochures and everything. So I'm getting all that stuff structured and done for you ahead of time. So you're going to get all of that for free. And the first person that gives me a call, 844 
4322 the first person first 10 people that give me a call I'm gonna give you a discount on the book uh, so give me a call uh, 844 472 4233 uh, give me a call plus uh, there's a lot of grants out there oh yeah 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 there's a lot of grants out there for Department of Corrections um, for mental health that you can get these grants and pretty much finance your whole business. It's out there. They're letting a lot of people out of prison right now. So you better get on board now. You know, don't hesitate. Don't wait. It's not going to cost anything but your time. Okay? So give me a call. Again, I'm Elder Keith Humes. Uh, my number is 844-472-4233. God bless you, and the best is yet to come.